Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we are making some changes to my DOS gaming PC. You know I like my drive bait devices. It gives me easy access to load games on a modern computer. And for this time machine, which is a blend between old and new, we've got authentic parts for good compatibility to make sure we get a decent picture and authentic sound. But I also like modern conveniences like a USB keyboard, ATX case and power supply and modern storage devices. Now, for many of you out there, you prefer a period correct build and in such a machine, a hard drive front bay device like the one I'm using just stands out and doesn't fit. You can install a compact flash to ID adapter at the back of your computer, but you have to route the cables, including power cables, all the way through the entire computer. It's not the neatest solution. But there's another option. You can get one of these. These are period correct hard drive bays. And I will put a photo on the screen of my very first computer, a high screen Vobis 386. And even that machine had a hard drive bay with, I think it was a 40 or 80 megabyte hard drive. And then you can basically conceal a modern storage device, for example, a SSD together with a SATA to ID adapter or a ID to compact flash adapter, or like we've been using a lot on the channel, ID to SD card. You might have to get a power extension lead, but these are readily available online. So maybe that's a solution for you. Maybe you have a authentic retro gaming PC and you don't want to mix it with visible modern parts, but concealing it in a hard drive bay device like this is acceptable to you. So yeah, maybe it's an option for you. Going forward, I have a few more changes planned. So we will be back with future videos with this DOS gaming PC. Uh, let me know what changes you would make and uh, maybe they align with some of the ideas I've got in my mind. If you want to know more about using modern storage devices for your DOS retro PC, I will put two videos on the screen. And that's it. Share your thoughts down below in the comment section and I shall see you soon with another one.